In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a crescent moon. Now, this particular project, I'm actually making this for a photographer that's going to be used in, as a prop for photo sessions, um, but it can also be used as a chair or even a form of a rocking chair. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a 4x8 sheet of 3 quarter inch of plywood and just cut it right in the middle and have two 4 foot squares. I'm going to find a center of both of those and put a screw right in the middle. And I'm going to grab a piece of string here. It's just a real simple way to get a nice even circle all the way around. I'm trying to use all the board that I can. And then once I get done with that larger circle, I'm going to measure over about 8 inches. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. Just get another circle. And this will be the part that's actually cut out for the crescent moon part. And again, just use that string to kind of get a nice even circle all the way around. It's kind of hard to see the pencil marks here, but this is something of what it should kind of look like. That little circle should be off-centered of the larger circle. Now you can grab your jigsaw and go ahead and start cutting that circle out. I like to cut about a 16th, almost an eighth inch off the line. That when I come back with the sandpaper here, um, it's not going to be taking too much off. It allows me to have a line to go off of whenever I'm sanding to make sure I don't do too much. And I'm using 80 grit sandpaper here just to kind of give it a nice rough finish and I'll come back in a little bit and do a little bit more fine sanding. Once you finish cutting and sanding this first one, you can actually take it and put on that other 4x4 cutout sheet and use it as a template. That way you know they're going to be exactly the same size and they'll match up perfectly. And again, you grab your jigsaw, go ahead and get that cut out. And once it's cut out, grab your 80 grit sandpaper again, get a nice kind of rough finish. And once you're done with that, um, on both of them, I'd recommend using a 220 grit sandpaper. Just give it a nice, and take your time you're doing it by hand, give it a nice, good, smooth finish. All right, now that we got both of our moons cut out, I'm gonna grab those one by fours and cut nine at 20 inches. And I'm just gonna kind of give a nice rough sand here just to kind of get rid of all the corners and kind of make it a little bit smoother. And once those are all sanded, what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and put some pocket holes, two on each side. Um, that way the screws will be hidden underneath. You won't be able to see them. You don't have to see any screws from the outside either. All right, now I'm going to grab my speed square and just kind of give a two inch line off the edge that kind of follows the curve of the moon there. Kind of gives me a reference to go off of if I start screwing them in here. And as I'm screwing them in, I'm going to leave about an eighth inch of a gap in between them. And I'm going to grab that second moon and go ahead and do the same thing with the speed square. Kind of put a nice two inch line kind of following the curve. Give me a reference and I'm going to go ahead and start screwing this top portion on. Just kind of checking it each time, making sure that I'm staying on my line and trying to keep the eighth inch of a gap. And here I even use a little piece of wood to kind of put in there to make sure I keep that gap. I got a piece of my two by two here. What I'm gonna do is gonna measure this to a 13 and an eighth. My 13 and eighth here, go ahead and put a mark. And then I'm gonna grab my speed square. And with my speed square, I'm gonna find that mark I just made. I'm gonna put the edge of the speed square here, all the way there. And I'm gonna find my 35 degree angle down here. I'm gonna find my 35 degree angle. I'm gonna go ahead and mark right there. Nice dark line there. And I'm gonna move my saw here. And I'm going to very carefully hold this at an angle. And once I find where I need it, I'm going to make sure I'm wedged up against the back there. Help hold the secure a little bit better, make sure I handle far enough away. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this angle here. <laughs> once I get it cut, I just want to double check my angle. And right there, I got 35 degrees. And that's how you do an angle cut. Now that I have that angle cut, I'm going to go ahead and use this as a kind of keep this from rocking, put it as a brace in the back here. And once I get that, I'm just going to make sure it's nice and level. I'm going to grab my 20 inch piece of 2x2 two two here 
and screw it to the chair portion of it and also screw it to the 13 piece that I just cut off here. And once that's screwed together, you can kind of see here that I went ahead and put a one by two to also give a little bit of extra support at the bottom there. I also do the same thing to the front portion of the chair here. Again, this just kind of keeps it from rocking. And this one uh, was actually at eight inches. I used an eight degree angle and I got that screwed there. And again, I put another brace at the bottom and this will kind of help it from rocking also. And here's what it looks like all done. Um, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting mine. Uh, I'm gonna paint it a white color here. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to put up more how-to videos. That way you can learn how to do your own affordable backyard woodworking.